Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, we are going to see how we are going to integrate and extract data from SQL Server into our Power BI desktop application. Previously, we have discussed about DAX functions in Power BI. If you have missed to watch that particular series of videos, not to worry, we have provided the link of playlist in our description box. You can go ahead and watch it. Let's start with the today's session. To connect with SQL's data source, you can see from our home tab, Get data option is also available and even SQL Server data is also available. For now, I am just going with the get data option and you can see the option of SQL Server. Just click it over here. You can do it on either ways. Both the ways are better. So this is the wizard which we are going to get when we click on that SQL Server database to get the data. And for now, from our SQL Server database, we are going to take the data of master database from there we are going to take the table of athletes we are going to extract this particular data for that what are the things we required you can see it, it is asking for the server so this server it is how you are going to identify either you can see the server name is available which is shown over here or else what you can do is you can right click over the top and you can see the properties option click on it and you can see the complete details over here you can see server name is kongin forward slash SQL Express and the connection is function based SKI. So now what we can do is either we can copy and paste the thing or else I am going to type it over there which is my Kongian base SQL Express. This is not a case sensitive so you can give small letters also it is acceptable. And database is option if you have multiple database you can give the uh, relevant one. So I am going to pick the data from master so I am going to give it in master. Then click on OK. You can see whatever the tables which is available in our master database is displayed over here. From here, you can able to select whichever the database we want to take. I am selecting athletes database because that is the one which we need to get the data from SQL Server to the Power BI. Select the database and click on load. You can see complete data set is loaded over. Now you may get a question that now this SQL Server database is open. So that's why we got the data. If it is closed, will it get connected? I agree. So what I'm doing is I'm just again closing this server database and refreshing it to show that it will not get vanished from your Power BI data set because the server remains the same because we have given the server path and the database name so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the visualization and take the card and i'm going to take the count of people how many people are there in the line athletes table so we have 2606 line items in our database so the same which we have seen connecting to our database so this is how connection between power bi desktop and sql server works hope you have understood this concept clearly if you have any queries please Reach out to us by our comment box. We are happy to assist you in all the time. Thank you for watching. We'll meet you in the next exciting video. Until then, bye from Google Tech. Thank you. Have a great day ahead.